Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out the X-Tool H6 Pro 3. Big shout out to them for sending us over, sponsoring the video here. We're going to jump into the unboxing a little later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that at the end of the video. But right now we want to get this out of the package, get into our 2020 Outback that's behind us here, and actually look at things like this has topology, it has th over 30 reset and special functions, CAN protocol, a whole bunch of other stuff that it supports. So we're going to get this out of the package, jump into our Outback, and start showing you the software right now. So make sure you stick around for that unboxing because we just built a cable, in this case OBD2, but you'll see all the different uh, ends and connectors that come with the, uh, the actual X-Tool here. I'm going to plug this in and then we're going to dive right into the scan tool. So you can see we have our uh, VCI here plugged in. And let me talk to you for a couple of technical specs on this scan tool. Obviously, this is our home screen and stuff, but this is a 10-inch screen. This actually has 8 gigs of memory, and you can see it's pretty snappy overall. Uh, it does have a browser built in, so if you want to just jump right in here and sit around and watch uh, Fresh Vintage Garage videos all day, you can. Please make sure you subscribe. We really, really appreciate your support. So back at the home screen here, we're going to go ahead and hit Auto Scan. And let's see what happens here. We just auto vin the, uh, the year, make, and model of the Subaru. And let's do an automatic scan. I just want to show you what happens here when you click automatic scan. We go right into the topology. Pretty clear cut and easy to understand here. You know, you're going to get a uh, green for good. There is a malfunction if you have an issue and so on and so forth. You can see in the top right corner it is actually uh, you know, scanning through the different systems. Normally the newer cars, while I stall for time here and speak, so to speak, the newer cars are much faster. We've done this in like my 05 uh, Honda CRV, for example, and it's very, very slow compared to how fast you're seeing on the screen. But we'll speed this part up and we'll, uh, we'll get through these a little quicker. And so taking a look at this here, it looks like we're done. And it's a really nice visual representation of the entire vehicle, like the, the, you know, the actual computer trees, so to speak, in the vehicle. You can see on the top, uh, we have white, green, orange, gray, and then uh, pink. And it uh, looks like overall the car is mostly okay. I, we do see you know, some orange here. And full disclosure, the check engine light's not on in this Outback. But we're going to click on this SMTP. And let's see here, it says diagnose. Let's take diagnose and see what happens here. So we want to read the data trouble code. Keyless access was push button start. Okay, so it's kind of scrolling on the top there. Interesting. So we do have a range signal performance. Interesting. Is that as simple as the battery getting weak in the remote on the vehicle? I'm not sure, but uh, nice to see that it gives you that like that level of granularity and detail inside the actual uh, scan tool and details. Let's go back out here. Let's look at ES. I won't click on all of these, but I just want to see what this is actually telling us. Uh, let's do live data here. So you can see all the data coming out. If you really want to get into the actual like lane assist and, and information and you know systems that are inside the Outback here, they do a really good job with their actual eyesight uh, system that they put in these cars. But really, really cool to see the capability here. And you can see there's 419 in the bottom left-hand corner here. I'm just going to scroll super fast, but you can see the amount of stuff. I mean, it's just like information for days that you can get into in the vehicle. Now, I wanted to go back out and show you the, obviously, the, there we go. Obviously, the topology is a visual representation. If you wanted to go to the list, this is, you know, more familiar what a lot of mechanics are used to seeing. But you can see the green, the pass, fail. And then, for example, let's, let's go to the telematics and see what's in here. Read uh, data trouble code. So we have a VIN data response. Interesting. If we wanted to do an actual report, we could actually make a report here, hit save, and it did save it into the scan tool here. Now, let me back out of here. I want to get all the way back out to the main screen. Uh, yes, there we go. I want to go to uh, system selection because this is kind of a manual breakdown of the actual overall like topology or you know, health report scan that we just did. Looking in here, I want to go into, I want to try and find the power windows because I want to see if we can get the actual power window to go down, the actual driver's side front window. Let's see here. I don't see it here, but let's get... Let's get out of here and look for the actual power window. There we go, driver, power window. Let's do an actuation test. And we're gonna do without monitoring data because if you do with monitoring data, it gives you a ton of information unless you're really, really digging into this, the software. I'm gonna go ahead and 
hit down. So my hands are right here, hit down. And we hit start. Now it says communication failed, but the window went down. So I'm hit up, hit start. There we go. Again, it says communication failed. Not 100% sure why, but the window went up and down. So really cool to see. And we're back at the home screen here. We're gonna jump back into diagnostics because we wanted to show you this screen. You can see the different uh, vehicles in here. Obviously it's a global tool, but we are in the US. So we're gonna go right into Subaru, which I don't see Subaru listed, but I'm guessing it's because it's in the uh, Asian section, so to speak. So we're gonna hit Subaru and let's do a manual selection. So we're gonna do North America, Outback 2020. And there's our year make and model. And let's go find the actual live data here. Let's do engine. And let's look into our live data. So you can see on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we have 343 things that we can find and search for. And I won't go through all these, but I just wanted to show you, I mean, you if you really need to dig into the car, this uh, X tool will definitely let you do that. But I'm gonna go back to the top here and let's just do a couple different things here. There's that. Grab a few of these and I'm gonna turn the car on, put my foot on the brake. There we go. And the car is cold, so just making that note, but you can see the data coming in from the actual vehicle now to different computers. Let's graph this. Let's find where we can graph this here. Oops, we don't wanna do that. So let's do custom and there's a chart. Let's do a graph, there we go. So really cool to see the different data coming out of the vehicle. And I believe we could probably add more data in here if we wanted to. Let me see if I can add a few other ones in here. So custom, chart, and let's do a 2D graph. Let's see what happens there, okay. Very, very cool to see. So if you're chasing some kind of electrical issue, maybe a sensor is starting to go wonky, but it's not doing it 100% of the time, this will definitely help you in identifying and really narrowing down what's going on with any given thing in the vehicle. If we wanted to record, we could, so we can play back to another technician or to a customer as well. Let's jump out of here. Let's go back to the main screen here. Keep going back. We're gonna go all the way back. And if you wanted to just go right into OBD2, you just click here, boom, you go right into the actual uh, different protocols, auto scan, it'll determine which protocol you're using in the vehicle. And we can go right into reading the trouble codes. And like we uh, mentioned, this does not have the check engine light on, so that there's no actual code stored, at least OBD2 codes anyway. It does take you a minute. You do have to keep clicking back, but Special functions, just like it sounds, I believe it's 38 if memory serves correct. And you can see everything in here, everything from AC relearn to start, stop. Actually, I said that backwards, but interesting. Let's see. Now it doesn't show Subaru, but uh, if your vehicle is in here, you could potentially turn off that annoying stop start feature that causes me to almost get into car accidents because the car hesitates when you go to, you know, off the red line kind of thing, off the, uh, the red light, green light thing. but. Uh, oil light reset, I'm just reading through a bunch of these. You can see all the different things in here. And report is just like it sounds. Earlier we did that report uh, for the Outback. And this is where if you're a shop, you could possibly uh, show a customer, hey, here's what's going on. Here's the repair you may or may not need or want to do. Print it out if you, uh, you know, the bottom right there. If you wanted to print that out as a shop owner, give it to the customer. Sorry, my fingers are cold. I keep touching the back button. Uh, updates, uh, it does have, what, two-year warranty and three-year software updates, so uh, comes with it right out of the box, and really, really nice to know that the Xtool puts that kind of software capability and support behind the uh, H6 Pro here. Uh, more, I'll go right into more here. If you want, I won't click on it, but if you want to put your shop's profile in there, you can. VCI management's for the actual Bluetooth VCI, and then apparently they're going to have an endoscope. I'm not sure what's going to happen when we click this. There we go. Since it's being installed, but we don't actually have an endoscope, so I doubt anything actually, yeah, it's just please connect the endoscope. So what it's trying to do now is use, there is actually a camera on the back of this, so it's trying to use the camera, but I'm just gonna hit back, there we go. 
and looking at uh, obviously the remote control if you wanted to uh, reach out to xtool this lets you them remote in if needed to see what's going on with the scan tool for whatever reason now xtool i believe this is going to take you yeah to the firefox browser so actually taking a look at the xtool here really really nice unit uh we'll show you a little bit more in depth in the unboxing which is going to happen pretty much right now I just wanted to show you this. Uh, let's jump outside and we're gonna unbox this properly and show you all the little details and nuances in the case that comes with us. So let's go do that right now. Hey everyone, wanted to mention our website, scantooldepot.com. Whether you need a scan tool, TPMS equipment, ADOS equipment, battery chargers and testers, smoke machines, and a whole bunch more, definitely check out scantooldepot.com. So like we mentioned earlier, it does have a camera on it. And I just wanted to make a note, if you've not heard of Xtool, you will. Uh, definitely an up-and-coming brand. They're well-known around the world, but they're not that big in the U.S., but they're definitely doing all the right things. Their R&D is very solid. They're building and they're growing in their marketing. Uh, so stay tuned because be the first to know kind of thing. You'll uh, be telling your friends and family after you bought one of these about how awesome it is. So let's take a look at the actual inside here. And you saw it for a brief moment, but we already have the VCI and the cable. And so the cool thing with this cable is you kind of build the cable that you need. And we'll just get some of the other stuff out of the way. There is an actual uh, 12 volt here for plugging in directly into this guy. There's also a 110, 120 here. Looking at this, what do we have here? This is just randomly GM Daewoo connector. And that kind of segues into what's in here. Let me pop these open and show you what's in here. There's a lot going on in here. And this is probably more geared towards your shop owner. If I can get that to open, there we go. Tons of stuff in here. Uh, let's see, so we have a Kia adapter. And we won't show you all of these, but if you have a Toyota setup to where you need that specific plug, there's a Benz one over here, and the list goes on. We're not gonna break all of these out, but this is a Benz 38 plug. I'm pretty sure the BMW one is over here, but there is your actual charger there. Really, really cool to see the amount of uh, quality and build. Everything here feels premium. There's really not anything that feels cheap. I mean, even this cable feels really, really good. This is probably something where some other you know, manufacturers cheap out, so to speak. But all this stuff feels really, really solid. Uh, big shout out to Xtool for upping their game because if, like we said, if you've not heard of them, you will. They are growing. They're definitely a force in the US market. So let me put this back together and uh, wrap up the video and say, we appreciate you watching. If you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars certified fresh, Fresh Finish Garage, your channel, please like and subscribe. And Thanks for watching.